right, let's play this in full first, and there is sound. And what's gonna happen if I don't brush? My teeth will fall out. They're gonna fall out anyway. I'm only three. And what's gonna happen? All right. So there's definitely progress in there. That's good stuff. Um, I got some comments about some of the weights, some of the posing. All subjective, of course, as always. So right off the bat, I would look at like who is she talking to? We have some direction this way where you have a bit of a, to, be, to me, too much cut off there on the pupil. And then right, and then right there, we are now something where it's almost looking at camera. What's going to happen if I don't brush? And then is that something, you know, you have to look at when is she talking, make it clear. And when is she talking to herself and thinking? Brush. This seems more like, okay, she's, she's now contemplating things. My teeth will fall out. But then she's kind of locked with those eyes and it still seems like, I don't know if your eye box is close by, I would move it further away. This is a bit of a weird look of the eyeballs are there, but then that whole skull, everything is kind of moving. And you can see how the lids and the, and the whole head go up and down, but then the eyeballs, see here, kind of stay stuck. You have to kind of counter that so it looks less like uh, you know one big eyeball in here with those two eyes and then the skull slides around that one ball if that makes sense it's a bit of a strange look there wow. they're gonna fall and then we're getting to she's looking down here gonna follow anyway because she is somewhat freaking out that's my question to anyway. you I'm only but then we're going back to looking this way cutting this off a lot and then we're back to like a big move where we are looking straight at camera for quite some time it's a bit it's a bit wall-eyed going this way as well and then at the end only three now we're back to looking this way where it's a bit to the left so that to me was the main impression before we go into any type of body mechanics or anything it's just what is going on in terms of who is she talking to and when is she talking to herself why is there a switch between this way and do you want it to be is this the parent filming and is she addressing or whoever is filming her so that would be my first thing the other thing in terms of eyes is that i would look at what is the thought process so right now and what's gonna happen if i don't brush i like this right this is all cool just make sure that we know where she's talking again. But then What's this, gonna happen if I don't brush? it's a bit of a thinking, thinking process and up there. Little blinks, that's cute. But then she goes, brush. brush. Okay. Now she's thinking. But the thing is, in the face, if you go after this here, brush. My teeth will fall out. it's just kind of left in that staring mode where then the eye almost gets back to looking at us. They're gonna fall. And then she just keeps on staring, no blinking, into this. So to me, it feels like it would be something where you I have this. Watch. And then she's thinking. Right. And then once you have that, you could have a few more darts where, to me, it feels like she needs to process things. Like she just figured this out. Wait, what if I don't brush? Processing, processing, darting, maybe even some blinks. My teeth. And then that. My teeth will fall out. My teeth. Is, is that a question she is asking herself? Is that just a statement? Can you show that with a bit more, maybe a squinty face or looking in a different direction because she just made a conclusion, right? Where she's thinking, looking this way, thought process, eye darts, and now she made a conclusion. So that's a change in her brain. Maybe she looks somewhere else while she says all this. But then... This is now her, her end conclusion. They're gonna fall out well, they're going to fall out anyway. So to me, after this, you definitely would have some darts and blinks and a switch in where she's looking because it's a different, she's in a different headspace where, wait a minute, it doesn't really matter. They're going to fall out anyway. And that's okay if you fall into that. I'm only three. But then again, then it feels like she just goes up. I'm only three. And says that, like, I'm only three. Is that now, do you want to play this as she's just randomly saying things? Is that some profound statement on her end? Does that mean that she would again 
dart around, maybe open her eyes, and you can show the thought process that leads into this. So these are my all, all my questions to you. I mean, you can play this however you want to. It's your shot. Uh, I would just ask yourself, is this just a, a, a random ramble? Is this a conclusion that you want to show that she was thinking about and comes to that conclusion? Um, while, you know, looking again how much you cut off the eyes and where we're going to look at. So that to me was the biggest thing to look at. And Other things are, um, just watch out, you got some 20 moves on arms. The wrists kind of lift up where it doesn't quite feel like they're they're set on that table. So some twinning. And then you got some moments where the that dies a bit because you're asking about polish. So this feels very much like an IK arm where that hand is not moving at all while the rest is moving. So watch out for that. If you have movements like this, again, it feels cut off IK hands. There's no pressure on the fingers. So to me, I would look at things like that because you already have details like on this, the spreading on the toes here. So just keep going on some of the details. And overall, there's some just some pops in arms and legs as you move uh, as you move throughout the shot. The other thing, and you can see this here. Uh, the other thing was when you're back here. They're gonna fall. Actually, going back to something I'm thinking about the head. I will personally stabilize the head, and not go so big until maybe this move in there. And what's gonna? Because right off the bat, she has a ginormous head, and it goes. Whoop, 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 it keeps on moving. And what's gonna happen if I don't brush? And to me, it feels like. Like you could keep it still. Wait, wait a minute. What's gonna happen? And then what if I do this and then that? It's like, it's a, it's in a way a, a a moment for the audience to understand where we are, seeing the character and looking at their eyes. Because we go to the eyes and then she can have this move over into that, as opposed to we start the shot and we immediately have this big thing moving around. That's kind of my subjective view on that one. My teeth will fall out. My teeth will... This feels My a bit wonky there. Watch out in your in your path. And then it has a slight feel IK. Where now it's suddenly straight again. So watch out for your spacing and your curvature. I'm not sure if you want to go this close to the mouth either. You probably have room to bring this lower here for a clean silhouette. Fall out. They're going to follow anyway. And then you're going to have to kind of work a bit on this, kind of fold the ear just for details again, since you ask for polish. But the bigger thing in terms of mechanics, I don't quite feel like that head move is enough to bring her into a balanced pose like this, since she's leaning so far back. To me, it would be a combination of moving this, this leg is already going back pushing off with this or changing this arm pose where she is pushing herself off. Because right now it's this is doing nothing. This is kind of moving with the head almost as one unit. And it feels like that head move is going to bring her really all the way up here. She's still off balance here. And then she's magically balanced there. So to me, it feels like mechanics wise, you could make that work a bit more. And then you got the pops here. Only three. I think that's that. I wonder if you can even bring this down and move that hand out. I'm hesitant. Actually, no. But then you got that. W pose. I'll probably bring that arm further in to get a hand silhouette in front of the stomach. And then this is a clean silhouette. This is just a bit, a bit mushy right there. But that's that. These are my, uh, the points there. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.